The official Christmas buying season kicked off today as shoppers jammed stores looking for the perfect present. We have a series of reports beginning with Alan Mendelson live at Dayland. And this is it, the do or die season for the nation's retailers. In just the next month, the retailers hope to do about one-fifth of an entire year's business. And as you can see here, there is no shortage of shoppers. This was the Dadeland parking lot at 8 o'clock this morning. Here's the same parking lot a couple of hours later. Inside, the rush was on. Kids studying the latest toys, families testing the newest electronics. The shopping list is being filled right now. We're, we're shopping for, for the kids and, and then trying to get all the stuff before they run out of them in the stores. Do you think and there's going to be a run on all these things? Absolutely. We got one of these Atari games, and they're going quick. But mostly, this will be a year for basics for those with tight budgets. Well, sweaters, obviously, are always uh, big for this time of year, and dress shirts and ties for Dad, and sweaters for Mom and, and for the kids. Again, I think it'll be a very practical Christmas. There is luxury for sale. Cookies at five fifty a pound. Burdines has gold chains at half off. Seven hundred and seventy dollars. Uh, regular fifteen forty two. At the J. Byron store in Skylake, business today was twenty percent over last year's. No sign of recession here. The South Florida area has held up better than some of the other parts of the country, specifically the Midwest. There's nothing like a going out of business sale to attract a large crowd. But when the store is as well known as Gold Triangle and the sale just happens to begin on the first day of the Christmas shopping season, well, that sounds almost too good to be true. I'm ready. Got checkbook in one hand, my pen in the other. I'm ready to go for it. Browsing or ready to buy? Oh, definitely ready to buy. <laughs> definitely. You have to buy now. I'm ready to buy. I brought the money. Cash. The doors opened at 10 a.m. From then on, it seemed much like a race to see who could outwalk, outpush, and outspend everybody else. Hundreds of customers literally swarmed the Dadeland store. The entire Gold Triangle chain is going out of business and is now set to close its doors on Christmas Eve. For some, the opportunity proved very worthwhile. Happy with the prices? Yeah, can't beat that. <laughs> I think the prices are great. I think this is going to be a definite bonanza for me at Christmas time when I really need to save the extra few dollars. But there were those who were unhappy and even angry. Many large items were sold before the Dadeland store even opened. Employees were given first crack at everything. And although the sign said 20% off everything, many customers didn't believe it. I think they just jacked all the prices up. And then they're going to give you a discount. You're still going to pay more than your regular price. They raised the prices in order to make up for the loss for them going out of business. I think it's horrible. The prices were elevated, and then the prices were brought down with the 20% discount, so you're paying the same price you paid last week, you're paying them today. Store officials swear that just isn't true, but the 20% is taken off the retail price of the article, which could well be more than a previous Gold Triangle sale price. In the end, 20% was good enough for most customers in return for the pick of the store. In fact, Gold Triangle officials say they were amazed at today's turnout. In coming weeks, the discounts will be increased to as much as 50% in the end, but the number of items will be sharply reduced. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.